Hey everybody, this is my uh, pan and tilt camera contraption that I built so that I could film events uh, as out of necessity. Uh, so I spent a little time to make it right and I won't look like an idiot out there when, you know, having it break down. So what I did is take a standard GoPro casing. I use an existing offset clip. See how it goes back like this? That's so I could all get a good connection from the servo with the linkage to allow, and I, this extension I put on here is a flexible plastic extension, and this, this linkage and the angle allows greater movement up and down by using only a quarter inch servo. And I drilled it and threaded it into the bottom of this uh, GoPro clip, and I mounted this clip onto another servo that I mounted into a piece of inch and a half PVC that allows me to slip it right onto another inch and a half pipe to make a long pole and take some good aerial views. I took the casing that I got with the video monitor that I wasn't going to use. It's a scuba underwater casing so it didn't have any sound. It didn't allow any sound through it. It was solid. I drilled holes in it where the mic was for the camera. And let's see what else I can think of. Uh, oh, we use the, the standard linkage. You have to loosen it up a bit so it acts like a hinge. I also greased this connection. This is a linkage from an airplane, RC airplane, that also swivels. So this is, allows it to go way up and way down without any linkage binding. I'm going to demonstrate it for you. There you go. Left and right, up and down. And I'll show you this side linkage in action so you can see what I mean by binding. See that? It twists, it turns, it does everything that a, a regular hard linkage wouldn't do. It wouldn't allow it to do this. It would get stuck. Uh, this is the hole I cut into the back of the monitor casing extension. It was very tight so it slipped in there and I used a piece of rubber to make up the difference on the back, foam rubber, to push the camera against the front of the casing, keeping a nice tight fit. There you go. This is also mounted on to a plant box, a plant uh, pot, if you will, and it's it's a very flimsy thing. So this is just so I could uh, work on it, pick it up and down. I made pockets down here for the servo or the uh, receiver and the battery. That way I can work on it very good. And we'll do a little bit more stuff for you here do a lot of stuff. I'm using an RC remote and I'm using two channels on the right. That way I could use the other two channels for the blimp that I, I'm going to mount this upside down onto. And eventually I'll put it on a helicopter, but I got to find one that can carry this kind of weight. There you go, back and forth. If you wanted to use the monitor, you could uh, just take this servo and mount it upside, uh, sideways, another a quarter turn and put it flat. And in this way, this arm can stick out. The only problem with that is you don't get a full movement. You're not allowed. You can't get this uh, extra movement from it. So that's about it.